So this site was discovered last year, and uh, it it's a uh, it represents a time period in the neighborhood of five million years ago. Every day we have uh, anywhere from two to four people from the Florida Museum of Natural History working here and then uh, volunteers. Last spring there were a ton of volunteers, there were over a hundred. This season we have about 70 right now. And people love the field work because here we are, like I say, we're out in the fresh air and we're in the middle of nowhere. Awesome. Sites. Uh, after a while you tend to get the same old thing, same old thing, same old thing, and in some ways the thrill is gone. But with this site, we're, it's still every day is very productive. We're finding a lot of freshwater turtles and fish. There are also some freshwater birds and um, we have some gomphotheres, which are elephant-like creatures. So they had tusk on the, like the top and the bottom. One of the key features of this site is how rich the fossil record of turtles is. So we have, uh, I don't know how many we have now, but we, we probably have more than a hundred individual turtles. We're also getting quite a few alligator fossils here. And this period of five million years, roughly five, maybe six million years ago is an interesting period of evolution for alligators because our research at other sites has shown that alligators haven't changed much for seven or eight, maybe nine, even nine or 10 million years. They've been pretty, the anatomy, the morphology of gators has been pretty constant. And, but that's based on not that many specimens. So having another site, five million years old, loaded with gator fossils is, is really, is really gonna be good. When we find something big, like the skull or pelvis of, a, of an elephant or a rhinoceros, then we make a plaster jacket. And a plaster jacket is, it's the same concept as in the old days when someone broke a bone, you put a plaster cast over the bone to keep everything in place. There's only one other site like that in Florida. A site like this, working with volunteers and working with your scientific colleagues, is one of the reasons why I love the Florida Museum of Natural History. It's a great place.